angle blade option, we spoke about that. Uh, we expect to see the angle blade option increase usage um, because of the way it's sort of used in the machine. Uh, Sam talked about sort of serviceability. Uh, these doors are a fraction of the cost what they used to be on the two machines. They're steel, they're somewhat flat, but they're easy to replace if you do get damaged. Because at the end of the day, we're all more than capable of damaging construction equipment. And of course, you want to keep your equipment looking new. So when you have some of those fiberglass bodies or things that break easy, that come to strength easy or replace easy, they don't get done, and then your machines start getting to look old. You attract customers. It's like the painting, have paint your house. You know, if he shows up in that tatty, wrecked, old Dodge Caravan, which is six different colors, do you really want them painting your house? Likewise, if you have some work going in your house, you want a contractor that's gonna turn up with good looking equipment, it's got nice equipment, you know they're not going to be damaging your property. We talk a lot about serviceability, wide opening doors to get to your valve, to get to your fuel filters, your hydraulic fuel, your hell check. And often, number one question from a lot of people is, what is that sitting right here? The grease gun holder, just like that. So we're trying to think of everything <coughs> that we're putting into it. We also do try and protect the doors, like on all of our other next-gen machines, we've got the casting all the way around. We are going to try and protect this door. However, if the door does get damaged, take it off, stand on it, stamp it out, make it look straight before the boss sees it, and put it back on. If it does need replacing, three bolts, four bolts. You can replace this door and away you think you go. Some sort of minimum downtime on it. The back door in here is actually standard from this 4 ton machine all the way up to our 10 ton machine. And then inside here you can see that we're running the 1.7 turbo engine. We're actually running both the engine and these machines. You might think, well hold on, how, do, how can you run one's a 4 ton, one's a 5 ton? How do you get those performance difference? They're both, both based off the 1.7 turbo. And it's our engine management systems that change that horsepower that's going there. And of course our horsepower of the machine is always providing more than what the pump requires. So we're always above that, so these things work uh, very well, very efficiently. And of course, all of our next gen machines from the 1.5 to the 10 ton has an electronic pump. Only manufacturers putting an electronic pump on all of our machines. So with that electronic pump, everybody has a load sensor variable margin piston pump today. They're very efficient, a lot better than the old gear pumps of the past, but we have an electronic pump. We have a pump with a brain. This machine knows the ambient temperature, knows the machine temperature. It knows the hydraulic load. It knows the AC load when you have a cab unit. This machine also knows exactly what altitude it's sitting at. So whatever the uh, operator in the machine commands from the machine and the engine starts to lug due to altitude or what he's trying to do with it, travel up a hill, push a lot of dirt, the electronic pump, like, oh man, he's trying to do something harder. I need to give him more torque from the pump and we manage that. That's why these machines are the most efficient and the most powerful on the market in that next gen class because next, the uh, next gen electronic pump is standard on every next gen machine.